Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we will be taking a look at the Super Chase 95 fans Luigi and Guido and of course um, this uh, this was I'm pretty sure the second Super Chase release of 2014 the first being Trike Feldman this one being the second and the uh, third one being Chao Francesco and the fourth and final Karateka and uh, a lot of you guys actually wanted to see me review this so I will review it I mean it looks pretty cool I, I was kind of I this has been really early I got this like in April when it actually came out so this has really been like sitting in the package um in my room for a long time now but yeah I'm pretty sure it's the second because you got Trike Feldman here as the first one and Luigi and Guido here as the second one and you know we can get a little bio here race fans Luigi and Guido gear up to cheer Lime Queen at the Radiator Springs World or uh, the Radiator Springs Grand Prix I thought it said World Grand Prix there. I was like, what? Um, but, um, <clears throat> so, uh, that is pretty cool. You know, you got a nice shot for a Corza there. And, uh, it kind of looks in the prototype here. Yeah, I guess this is a prototype. That's, uh, Luigi or Guido's, uh, hat there is plastic. It looks, looks pretty plastic, but I'm pretty sure it's actually, like, fur. Kind of, like, actual, like, fur. I don't know where it, it felt or something. Uh, it looks, like, actually like that because they did release kind of a version like this before, which we'll be taking a look at as soon as I unpackage these. But it's pretty cool. You got the Super Chase emblem up here and the, um, bio for these two, which looks pretty cool. Um, they do look pretty cool. They appear at the end of the movie of Cars 2. They're cheering on Lightning McQueen, of course. And, um, I'm pretty sure there was a 7-pack that released, um, exclusive to the Target back in, like, um, 2012, 2013. And it had the exclusive vehicle of the, um, Radiator Springs Ramon Hydrock. Hydraulic, like with the um, the boosters or whatever, and it had these um, cars, and then it was a Cars 2 pack, and I was wondering why would you put Cars 1 in there, but apparently they just wanted to save these to be released in the Super Chase um, later on, so I guess, you know, I don't really mind that, I mean, it didn't, this one, I think I bought on eBay for a decent price, so it wasn't too big a deal to me, but, you know, I don't know why they just don't release that, but, you know, that's, that's Mattel's kind of way of, uh, uh, making more money, you know, the more money, the, the better, I guess, you know, <clears throat> but, uh, these actually look pretty cool, maybe my second favorite Super Chase of the year, um, but let's go over the turntable and let's take it closer, look, we'll just pull take these off the turntable for a second but um looking pretty cool oh here comes the hat he's stuck in there there we go <clears throat> all righty then we got a nice kind of hat right there it looks kind of um lopsided though kind of there's like it's a little bit oh i don't know it seems not centered but yeah, it looks pretty good on guido if we can get it on there we go. It just kind of looks a little lopsided, though. He's like, it's all there's so much on the left, and is the right's kind of just. It looks kind of weird, but you know, it's uh, all right with me. I guess that he still looks pretty cool. Um, and let's pull out the regular Luigi and Guido first. Um, as you can see here, um, these are the Cars 2 version with the Team Lane McQueen emblem. Um, uh, but that's uh, I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same. I. Thing. They did give him a new expression, which is pretty nice. I'm glad that they did that. Um, it just makes the car look better when they give him a new expression. And I can also see that they um, changed the um, little Fiat logo in the middle here. As you can see, it's straight on the 95 version. And on the, um, <clears throat> on the other version, it is kind of bented. Bent? <laughs> bent in the... It just bent, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's smiling more in this one. I don't know. And this one, well, I mean, he's smiling pretty much in this one. Maybe they just kind of thought it'd be more accurate to make it straight. Um, so that's all right. So on the back here, not too much of a difference on the back. I'm pretty sure um, it looks pretty much the same. As you can see, his license plate, 445-108. And on the new version, oh, they made the license plate a lot smaller on the new version as you can see here, but they do have the same license plate, 445-108. Um, but uh, if I could focus on that a little bit better, it's because I'm shaking, it's not focusing in, but um, it is the same license plate. They did make it a lot smaller though. They had that silver kind of thing going around it. 
So that's kind of cool, I guess, you know. I don't know why they should change the model because obviously Luigi did not get a silver thing um, on his license plate throughout the half the movie, but, um, you know, maybe he did, I don't know. But uh, it's not even too noticeable. The most noticeable thing here is he's got his visor on here and we can check out some of the cool um, emblems on here. Of course, we got the 95 with the American flag in the back, Lightning McQueen with the flame, Another 95, the Piston Cup, which is kind of odd since this appeared in Cars 2. And you could probably will on a World Grand Prix logo instead of Piston Cup. Um, I'm not sure how accurate this is to the movie. I might pull up a picture here if I can find it. <clears throat> he's got a few lightning bolts there. Another 95 with the lightning bolt going behind it. And he's got the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo. And... Uh, and he's got the two flags um, coming off the side here. But uh, let's take a look at the uh, first version that they did this. And I'm pretty sure they call these Ferrari fans, Luigi and Guido. Now these are 95 fans. Um, so it's pretty cool here. Uh, of course, um, the Ferrari fans, he's got a much bigger flag. The flag is much bigger here. Um, and it does have the Ferrari emblem with the checkered kind of pattern there. And it has a little smaller flag on the side here. Uh, and on his visor, he's got Ferrari emblems. Um, we could uh, focus here. He's got two Ferrari emblems, Italian flag, uh, more Ferrari. It looks like an American flag right there, though. Italian, a uh, bunch more Ferrari emblems there. Um, so that's pretty cool. We did have the bent, um, what do you call it? The bent uh, hood uh, emblem on there. And uh, I think the expressions are the same on there though. They didn't change it up too much. Um, they do, it does on here have the silver thing going around the license plate, which is kind of interesting um, how this one does, but the 95, Luigi and Guido Team 95 doesn't. Uh, so that's interesting. These look practically the same on the back. Um, they did add a black outline around the eyes. Instead of just being all yellow, which looks pretty good to me, actually. I think that looks better. Um, and they did that in the Team 95 version, too. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for the Luigi, 95 fan Luigi. And let's move on to Guido here. And uh, let's just take this off for the purpose right now of looking at the uh, diecast. Um, but it looks pretty cool. They do look all this pretty much the same. Um, except for the expression, of course, is a little bit different. As you can see, the eyes are in a different place, and the uh, mouth is in a different position as well. And yeah, it looks pretty much the same on the back. Nothing changed too much. Uh, got the logo, of course, is not there. And uh, he does have a lightning bolt. He's holding up this kind of lightning bolt here. And a 95 with the American flag, which looks really cool. I love how they made how his forklifts are kind of like folded up. It looks really cool how they did that. <clears throat> I really, I really do like that. And uh, of course, you know, you got this big fuzzball right here that goes right on top of them. It, it is correct to do with the yellow for yellow on the left and red on the right, according to the package. Um, but let's pull up the uh, first version of this, the Ferrari fan Guido. And I have to say, the hat looks a lot better on the Ferrari fan because you know you've got a Ferrari tag on the front here. And you got these, th it just looks a lot better. It looks more firm on him. And this one version is kind of a lot lopsided. The yellow is kind of like, um, like going a lot more down. I don't know. I guess maybe that's just mine. But um, of course, he does have the two, I'll take these off for now, but he does have his two Ferrari pads, I guess, there. Um, just like he did in the 95 version, he has his forklifts folded up. Mark Lewis folded up there, and it looks everything else is the same. We'll take this off right now. Um, everything else is all the same, so I, I think it's pretty cool. I have to say, I like the um, the Luigi um, better than the uh, the 95 fan Luigi better than the Ferrari fan, but I do have to say, I like the Ferrari fan Guido better than the 95 fan. Um, the 95 fan uh, Guido, but you know, maybe you can miss, miss, mishmash and then put this one on there and put this one on there, you know, just, you know, have, have fun. <laughs> that looks so weird though. <laughs> it doesn't look right, <laughs> but, um, you know, 
Hope you guys are having a good day. I know you, a few of you guys wanted to see this, so I did do this. I mean, it's not too hard of a video, and I apologize that it's a longer video. I mean, there's just a lot to talk about about these models here. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video on the 95 Fans Luigi and Guido. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.